All right, coming up next, it's a UFC lightweight division battle. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, the celebrities are out. The floor seats are packed because the notorious one, Conor McGregor, makes his triumphant return here tonight. There's always a special feel when a UFC main event is about to unfold, but Conor McGregor just takes it to that requisite next level. J.A., as a fan, I usually sit right next to the octagon, but when Conor fights, I got to be in the first row behind <laughs> the barrier because the celebrities are out in droves. Conor McGregor has this thing about him that makes everybody want to show up. They flock to Vegas. They come in groups. They want to experience the notorious Conor McGregor. They want to see if he can have one of those special moments, him atop the cage, him knocking right. out Jose Aldo. If you experience the McGregor experience, you always have a story to tell, and that's why people show up. He's going to cash the check tonight, right? But he's not here for just money, no, right? This not. is about proving himself trying to improve his mixed martial arts legacy. Won two titles, no title defenses. That's a big part of the motivation He for takes Conor. a lot of pride in the preparation to getting to the octagon, and you see it every time Conor McGregor fights. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Iron Michael Chandler. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 22 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it a fair. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready all right, crowd getting excited as this fight gets underway. And to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist. But on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Oh, good kicks. 
really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. It's a nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. McGregor advances and lands flush with the left hand. Lands that left hand. He's always looking to land that strike, and he does it again in this big spot. Now oh. connects with a right. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by McGregor. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this. Thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, hate to be the punch counter. <laughs> well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumper. Big punch lands over the top. How's it follow Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh! Head kick! Jab hurt him a little bit. Right hook to the head block. His misses are entertaining. They continue to exchange. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this Oh, he might be out. His misses are out to Kembe Matumbo, but he is blocking all these shots coming Man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. That's a crippling shot there. Now they're both throwing with power. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Nice combination there by Connor. Pretty good job to find the striking range there, DC. Connor is one of the best strikers in the UFC, and it's all because of the way that he manages space. He's a master manipulator in terms of managing the distance. Such a fast leg kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Just misses there with the left. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming. Can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming, or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Checks that leg kick. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, it got defended. Set up your attack, Jim. And they separate. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Ready, fight? Ready. Good. 
Oh, nice punch there by McGregor. Well, he goes to the uppercut, but it's not there. Oh, nice strike by McGregor. I mean, Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Whiffs on the elbow, and he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice. Flips the punch nicely there. McGregor gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Leg kick checked by McGregor. And he landed the right hand there. Big ball for punch man. Now we get back to range. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Counters with a left. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Back and forth we go! Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Right punches there. McGregor's kick attempt there, blocked. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Nice punch there. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively. That would be a stationary target. Ahead at a moment's note. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice, sneaky head kick. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe let it look like it did stun him a little bit. Whoa! Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Less than a minute to go now in round two. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. McGregor gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Nice punch to the head. Some nice back and forth action here. Now we're going. Seconds winding down in round two. 
All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Nice punch lands over the top. Uppercut there, blocked by McGregor. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Right hand on point. Big leg kick lands. Not there. The whiffs on the right hand. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it's just going to be one head snapping back. It's going to be boxers going back and watching this guy and going, wow, this is what a jab is supposed to look like. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut. And he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a... Wow! Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Pretty good right hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Good jab. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on it. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out! All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. That's oh, the feet now. Nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he won. Oh. oh, nice jab. Big punch lands through the middle. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Try to establish that jab. Down defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out.
Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by McGregor. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, he has landed. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. 15 seconds. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. Right, DC, no telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines will stop in this contest at four minutes, 53 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Connor McGregor! So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.